I like a solid rainbow, if you will, of people representing a, a board. Yeah. And especially if you're going to be a school board, then the school board members should represent that community that you're running for. Exactly. It, it's one of those things. If you're going to be the city council, it should be if you have, let's just say if there's 5%, if there's 50% white, 20% black, and then 30% Hispanic, then that's what your city council should look like. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you know, a lot of times too is like, you don't want to be on any board where 100% of them all agree. Like yeah. the commission, because I am, you know, I don't mean to be, and people call me this hippie, I don't mean to be a hippie, but like, I just tend to lean more to the humanistic. I mean, even my, my public relations and marketing com company is called humanistic marketing, but I lean towards that more. And so when somebody is more number savvy, analytical, like that's mm -hmm. the compliment. And so sometimes yeah. you agree on things, but you don't want to agree on everything. Like you really don't. Cause if you're agreeing no. on everything, you're not serving the public. You're not serving your, your people that you're representing. But a part of that, I believe, a part of that is that people get so caught up in keeping their titles, they don't want to make waves. Or they vote yes just because everybody else is. Because and everybody is, yeah. You need to vote no even if you're not going to win because it's, oh, on, yeah. it's on record. So then five years from now, if something blows up, they can go, oh, Commissioner Palmer did vote no on this. Because yes. It, it, like, I, I hear all the time, and even when I was leaving the commission, well, it, you're, you're not, they're still going to vote against you, so you might as well just go with the flow. No. No. Be on record. No. You need yes. to be on record. Even if you don't, even if it's one against five, one against six, you need to be on record that you voted true to yourself. Well, and it shows personal integrity. It, it shows true integrity to stand up for what you believe in. Because if you keep doing that, all of a sudden you forget what you actually believe and you're just going with the flow yeah. and you will lose yourself. And I've seen a yeah. lot of politicians who have done that. They don't even have opinions anymore. They just go to their, you know, go to the meetings, listen to blah, blah, blah. You'll find they're always the ones who are either last to vote or second last to vote, but they're never the first vote. You know, and they, they've just gotten used to things being that way. Right. But I, do, I, I love the idea that you have. Well, all of them, actually. You do come, you do come off. You're, you're a little hippie. I don't mean to be. You are. No, no, but you know what the great part about that is? Is you just said it. You don't mean it. It's who you are as a person. Who you are is going to be represented on that school board. It's not, you're not a pop, quote unquote, your average politician. Your views, like you said, they're humanistic. Mm -hmm. They're more for, okay, let's do the things that need to get done for these kids. So as a, cause they're kids. They're not pawns, they're not a political agenda. They're kids. You know, and yeah. we need sometimes we need someone on that on a board to be humanistic. 